Hello, in this video we're going to look at pulmonary embolism. This is an overview of pulmonary embolism, an introduction. So pulmonary embolism is a sudden occlusion in a pulmonary artery or lung artery. The occlusion is usually a result of a blood clot that originates from a deep vein thrombosis. So let us look at some signs and symptoms of someone who has pulmonary embolism. The person will experience a gradual increase in heart rate, tachycardia. They'll experience dyspnea, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, unilateral chest pain, hypotension, low blood pressure, and of course a sign could be signs of deep vein thrombosis. Here I'm drawing a vein. If we zoom into the brain, we can see that within this blood vessel, there is a thrombus forming, a blood clot. The thrombus is forming through a process known as thrombosis. The thrombus, the blood clot, can dislodge. When it dislodges, it becomes an embolus. The embolus can travel through the vein. It travels through the vein and up towards the heart. So now let's um, look at this area, the heart. So here I'm drawing the heart and the lungs. The heart connects to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. And the pulmonary veins brings blood back to the heart. When the embolus reaches the heart, the heart will pump the embolus to the lungs. The embolus can then lodge or get stuck inside um, one of the pulmonary vessels and thus resulting in pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism can result in an infarct to lung tissue. So zooming into this area, we can see that here we have the pulmonary artery and the embolus has lodged in this area, resulting in pulmonary embolism. If we were to take an x-ray of a person who has pulmonary embolism, here are some features that we could see. One, we could see dilated pulmonary vessels. Two, there may be presence of fluid, pleural effusion. You can have an elevated hemidiaphragm. And finally, you can have a wedged opacity, and this is due to the infarct that resulted from the pulmonary embolism. What are some risk factors for someone to develop pulmonary embolism? Well, one common risk factor is pregnancy. Other risk factors include increasing age, having a cardiopulmonary disease, a malignant disease, being immobile, and having a serious orthopedic surgery, such as of the hip or knee. Other risk factors also include fracture. A fracture can result in a fat embolus traveling to the heart. And also varicose veins increases the chance of developing pulmonary embolism. The standard management of pulmonary embolism include oxygen, painkillers, fluids, the administration of heparin IV, warfarin orally, and in case of emergencies, thrombolytics. So that was an introduction to pulmonary embolism. Thank you for watching.